Hey everybody, this video once again brings us back out to Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. And why are we in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania? Well, of course, to once again, check out the uh, the Goodwill here. Yeah, it was just uh, last Friday, so only a couple of days ago, like what was that, four, four days ago that I was here at this Goodwill. So with that being said, am I expecting to find very much? I mean, you never really know. It's, it's a Goodwill. They could have restocked over the last four days. There could be a ton of stuff here. Over the weekend, they could have put so many movies out. Or maybe they didn't put anything out and it's just going to be a complete waste of my time. You, you never know. Also, I feel like I'm mumbling. It's very early in the morning right now. I have, a, I have a ton of errands to run today. That's why we're here today. Because I have so many errands I have to do today in a couple of days. In like two days from now, I'm actually leaving for Florida. So I, um, I have a lot of... A lot of uh, uh, I have a lot on my plate today, a lot to do, a lot of errands to run, lots of chores to do at home, so I have, uh, I have to get ready for, for my trip. And as such, I can't really be driving anywhere far today. So I figured, you know what? My chores, my, my errands today are taking me right past the Goodwill. So why not stop in? Why not see what they have? Again, though, it's very early in the morning. I'm very tired. And I was just here four days ago, but we're gonna make the best of it. Power of positivity. We're gonna find something good. On the plus side, the paint fumes aren't nearly as strong today as they were last time I was in here. Like, it's, like I said last time I was in here, though, they weren't, they weren't all that crazy strong. They were, they were dissipating. Oh, wait. You know what? I, I, I take back what I said. Now that I'm walking further into the store, I can spell. Is that an HD DVD? I'm going to take this as a, I'm going to take this as a good sign. I mean, I don't, I'll, I'll put this back with the movies. I don't need this. It's uh, Caddyshack on HD DVD just for some reason down there. That's a. That's a sign of good things to come, right? Pretty cool find. I don't need it, but pretty cool find. Ooh, ooh la la, ooh la la. Anyway, so yeah, now that I'm walking further back into the store, the uh, the, the fumes are are getting stronger, and um, we can't go this way to the movie. Why not? Because of wet paint. Yeah, yeah, because of because of wet paint. Oh, wow. All right, so uh, back here into the movies now, and I'm gonna put this right. Right there, at, ooh, as it falls over. I'm not entirely sure there's much in the way of anything new back here. It looks like a lot of, maybe a lot of the same stuff. Did I see Lego? Yeah, I think I saw Lego Batman movie last time I was in here. So, all right, this could have been a complete waste of my time. The Desperate Trail, I wanna say I already have this. I don't think I I need that. I haven't, I've never watched it, but I think I already have that. I spit in your grave, one, two, ooh, that's cool. One, two, and three, look at that. That. That is kind of neat. I think I have all these movies though. If this was like a Blu-ray set, I would be all over this, but I'm thinking, I don't know, it's, it's a DVD set. I don't necessarily want it. What are the, what are the discs like? The discs are, uh, 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 I don't know if that's a smudge or, or what that is. I don't know, the disc on this could be, oh, well, it's missing, it's missing three. So you know what? Never mind. There's another HD DVD of uh, Lethal Weapon. And uh, what is this here? It's, um, it's Shooter. I don't need, I don't need that. So, all right, well, not off to the greatest of starts. I, I don't, I don't know that there's, <laughs> I don't know that there's actually anything here I need. I really can't talk this morning. It looks like they have put out some new video games. Here's uh, Lord of the Rings War in the North for PS3. I don't have a PS3, but that's cool. <laughs> Lego Star Wars with the wrong movie inside, the wrong, the wrong video game inside there. Wake up, Dave. Wake up. They also have some uh, Naruto. That's pretty awesome. Oh, wow. That's cool. Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. Is that the right disc inside there? It's not. Well, can... <laughs> that one actually is a movie. It's it's the Casper movie inside there. What What is happening? Actually, this would have been pretty cool. Again, I don't have a PS3, but that's that's pretty awesome. All right. So that one actually does have a movie inside. There's um, some FIFA, some Madden, Call of Duty, more FIFA, more Madden, and uh, some exercise stuff. What? What, what a... What a haul. I don't know if I'm really gonna be able to uh, look through the spinning rack as well as I want to this week because uh, there's actually a, a board against it and some caution tape against it as well. So I'm gonna have to either be just very careful and move the board or I'd, I'll have to spin this very, very carefully if I am gonna spin it. It looks like it's been kind of picked through. I don't, I don't know. There's actually one title I'm looking for. If I can find it, I'll show it to you guys. But, um, oh, they have it right here. It's not something I want for me. It's actually something I want to pick up for Chris. This is the new adventures of Pinocchio. I pointed this out to you guys 
last week and I said, it's a movie I had never heard of and I found a copy of it. And then it's, it's one of those things where you, 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 you never heard of a movie, you've never seen it before. And you're like, what, what is this? This is a thing I had no idea. And then you find 40 more copies of it. All of a sudden it starts popping up everywhere. And I told Chris about this movie and he had never heard of this, had no idea that the, uh, the Jim Henson company had anything to do with this. And um, I told him if I could find this copy of it, I'd pick it up for him if it was in minty condition. So if this is minty, I'm definitely gonna grab this for him. And ooh, you see, that's got some scratches on it. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to see if he, uh, if he still wants this or not with the scratches on it. He might, he might say no to that. But um, I mean, it's it's here, Chris. They they have it. So this is sort of the one thing I really came in for today. So I, I, I guess in any, I, I guess the one thing I came for they have. So that's that's a good that's a good sign. That though, that's not so much a good sign. Oh. Oh, that sounds that sounds awful. I don't think this was here last week, if I'm not mistaken. They actually have a copy of Shrek 3D with lenticular card and everything. That's pretty awesome. Of course, the question always is: Are the 3D glasses in, are are the 3D glasses inside? And is the disc minty? Let's find out. It's um are, well, the glasses are missing, so I don't even know why I'm gonna look. But the disc is oh, not no. All right, so multiple reasons why to pass on that. The, the disc is in terrible condition and there are no glasses. Cool to see the lenticular card though, but we'll just be putting that right back there. All right, so I've gone through the uh, spinning rack here. I actually did get it to go all the way around and I'm not seeing anything in there I want to pick up at all. They they have this Star Wars trilogy here, but it's the full screen release. So gonna pass on that. The only real, the only thing of real interest with this would be the uh, the bonus disc, but again, in full screen, who, who wants that, right? Who wants to watch an amazing documentary that's only on this? Uh, that's, that's only, what's the word I'm looking for? That's um, specific to this box set. I mean, it's a really good documentary. It's really cool, but nobody really wants to watch it in full screen. We want to watch it in widescreen. So I'm gonna end up passing on that. There was another HD, flip around camera. There was another HD DVD down here of uh, Born Identity, but that's like a dime a dozen. They've got I Am Legend, Batman Begins I, on, on, on Blu-ray. I just, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking it's gonna be a bit of a bust today. Although with that being said, Chris wants the Pinocchio, so. I'm picking up something for a friend. I'm also once again noticing that everything over here is marked at $3.99 a piece. I'm not really seeing much in the way of $2.99 movies anymore, which I just, I don't know, Goodwill. What's what's going on? Is that, is that the new price of movies? Have your have your Goodwills gone up in price? I, I noticed the Goodwill I was at yesterday, it seemed like they had normal pricing. I didn't see anything that was like crazy highly priced. I don't know why this store has has DVDs that are more a higher price than I've, I've seen anywhere else as of recently. I hope this isn't a thing to come. I hope all Goodwills aren't jacking up their prices. At least Goodwills around here, I hope aren't jacking up their prices, but I guess they might be, I don't know. Again, this is all I'm grabbing. So even though that is gonna do it for the movie section, of course, I have to look through the CDs as well. And um, I'm pretty much just seeing the same exact stuff I saw last week. Again, that's, that's the name of the game. I don't think they've actually restocked much since like last Friday, which again, was only like four days ago. So it kind of makes sense. However, I am seeing this here. It's um, the Disney's Jungle Boogie, which is actually um, half price because it has a black tag. So $1.50 for this, I guess that's not a bad deal. It has a bunch of songs that I already own on other soundtracks, things like, you know, Jungle Book and Lion King and stuff like that. I, I have those on other, um, well, on those, those actual soundtracks. However, it does have things like um, Timon and Pumbaa songs, which I think are, are not from um, any soundtrack I have. I want to say maybe from the Timon and Pumbaa, like, show they had. I have no idea what these Timon and Pumbaa songs are. I've never seen these. I don't believe I had these on, any, on anything else. So I'm thinking for $1.50, I'm going to grab that. And I'm also gonna walk away from the loud, noisy painters who are making me have a headache, not only with the noise, but with that awful smell of paint. Anyway, that's gonna do it for media. All right, so diving on into the uh, the dangerous toy section now. I need to clean this up before somebody breaks their, uh, breaks their neck. Hopefully it's not me who's breaking my neck. But anyway, diving into the toy section now to see what they have. I have decided that I'm not, I'm gonna be very selective with things I resell. I was thinking about just sticking to, to only media, just, just selling nothing but movies. And that's, that's pretty much it. Maybe some books and stuff like that as well, but just pretty much just DVDs, Blu-rays, VHS, things like that. That was all I was gonna sell in my store for, for like from here on out. That's all I, was, all I was gonna do. I still can't talk this morning. Anyway, that was all I was going, going to do, but um, I've decided that I'm gonna still, still pick up some collectibles, still some toys, but it's gonna be very selective toys and very selective collectibles. I'm not just gonna grab something because it's kind of sort of interesting. It's gonna have to be really, really awesome. In fact, I went through my entire inventory last night of things I have to sell, 
and I dwindled it down to maybe like five bins of stuff that I feel is really worthy of having in the store. So that's kind of my new, my new goal. Still gonna buy some toys, still gonna buy some collectibles, but just the really, really, really good stuff. They've got a whole bunch of these army vehicles, which is pretty cool. There's a truck here and whatever the heck this thing is. I don't know, leave a comment down below if you know what that is. There's a helicopter, there's this truck here. There's an actual tank down there on the floor. These are pretty awesome. They look kind of cheap though. I don't know if these are like dollar store army vehicles. They, they make sounds with, all right. Oh, they're not working. I thought maybe. There we go. Okay, anyway, we're done playing with that. So they're kind of neat, but again, they're not, not really worth picking up for the store. So moving on. Well, for a second there, I actually thought I found something pretty amazing that I was definitely gonna pick up for the store, but um, I don't think it's as vintage as I thought it was. And that's this Barbie dress up kit color forms set. How vintage and retro does this look? And for a second, I let my excitement get the better of me. And I thought, wow, wow did I just find like a super minty vintage, like 1970s or whatever color forms set. This would be so cool because it is in really, really good condition. And that's because it's it's not vintage. This is actually from 2016. So it's a, it's, it's a, it's a newer set made to look vintage. It's still pretty awesome, but I don't really think it's worth picking up. Again, I'm trying to be selective, trying to only grab the best stuff. Had this been an actual vintage color form set, I would have I would have been all over that. Definitely, 100%. But 2016, I'm just gonna pass. All right, well, I'm thinking that's gonna do it for the uh, the toy section. I don't really see anything worth picking up over here at all. Again, I'm trying to just get the, the best and the greatest stuff, which is probably what I should have only been picking up from the beginning. But um, hey, I sold some of the, actually, I sold a lot of the, the not greatest stuff in the past. So I guess if I wanna make money, I should still pick that kind of stuff up, right? But I'm not going to. You know what I'm missing down in the library? I'm thinking a, a mini aquarium would look pretty awesome. Oh my gosh, look at this. Mini aquarium one. Ah, oh, I really want a mini aquarium two. The upgrade made everything so much better with mini aquarium two. Mini aquarium three, it, it was a little too much. They went a little overboard with mini aquarium three, but mini aquarium two was the, I, in my opinion, it was, it was the Goldilocks mini aquarium. But I mean, one was okay. This is pretty cool. I know that joke went way, way, way too long there, right? This is interesting though. What year do you think this is from? I'm thinking 1980 something or another. I have no idea. Look at the, the guy there enjoying his fish on his desk and the kids and the, the grandparents. This is pretty awesome. I, I actually kind of dig this. Free, free fish food inside. I think there's still free fish food in here. I don't see free fish food in there. So anyway, I'm gonna pass on the mini aquarium one. So if it had mini, mini aquarium two, I totally would have picked it up. I know, I know. Terrible, awful jokes. I should leave the jokes to, uh, to Muppet stuff. This is kind of interesting. It's a Walt Disney World photo frame. This is actually pretty cool. I would totally pick this up for only um, $1.99 for me and my family to put our Disney photos in, but it's kind of cheap and also kind of scratched up, not exactly in the best condition, which is a shame because I, I probably would have bought this even though it has Spaceship Earth there, but no, no figment anywhere in sight. So I'm loving the fact that they, they included Epcot not so much digging the fact that they um, they left out, they excluded Figment from this. Figment should be on everything. So pretty awesome though. I don't know, for two dollars, it's it's tempting, but I'm I'm just gonna end up passing on that. I think I'm also gonna I'm also gonna pass on the Superman. Yeah, I'm gonna take that as a as a sign that it's probably time to go. All right, so yeah, that's gonna do it for this uh, Goodwill, or should I say nightclub? Man, they have the music just pumping in here. Some of you guys actually said in a previous video where I brought up how loud the music was inside these stores that your stores do the same exact thing. They just crank the music, it's insane. I don't know why it's so loud. It's not like there's ever that many people talking that loudly inside a Goodwill. They need to crank the music so everybody can hear it. I don't understand Goodwill. So if you're watching, just turn the music down, maybe like, I don't know, a, a couple notches. It feels like the music's up to 11. Turn it down to, to a nine. I think a reasonable nine would be pretty good. Anyway, that is gonna do it for this Goodwill. I'm not seeing anything else I wanna pick up and the paint fumes are, are really starting to get to me. They are, again, they are painting furiously here right now. So I think it's just gonna be the, um, the new adventures of Pinocchio for Chris and the Disney Jungle Boogies CD for me. Again, I wasn't expecting very much. It had only been like four days since I had last been out here, unless I had happened to gotten, God, unless, I had ha unless I happened to have been very lucky, I think is what I'm trying to say this, this early in the morning, unless I had happened to have, have been very lucky and they had, ha had happened to restocked a lot over the weekend, I think is what I'm trying to say. I, what am I, what am I trying to say? They didn't restock very much. They probably haven't gotten very much in. Anyway, I didn't really find anything. I wasn't expecting to find anything. This is it. At least I found something. We're gonna end this video now. And I'm gonna go home 
and I'm gonna go back to bed. So as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and of course, check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness store. It came from Cinema Sickness. Also check down below for my second channel, Retro Rest Stop for fun daily adventures, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, I'll be well rested, but I wanna count on it. All right, see you guys then. Bye.